Hello everyone and welcome to another Super Science video at the Mass Dent Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the children's librarians here, and today for this month I'm going to talk about static electricity. Now electricity is a word that you may have heard a lot of, and basically what it means is there's these really tiny particles called electrons and neutrons, and they create energy, and this energy can do many things, like when we look outside during a thunderstorm, the lightning is a form of electricity. And electricity is also what makes our lights come on and what makes our, our computers and our phones and all sorts of other things. And electricity can be a bit dangerous, so don't like stick anything in light sockets or do anything with electricity unless you talk to your adult about it. However, today I'm gonna to talk about a really small part of electricity and it's called static electricity. What static electricity is, it's a buildup of electrical charge, like those little tiny particles, on the surface of a thing or an object. And it's called static because static means it's in one spot only. It's not going to flow through like telephone wires or plugs to your laptop, computer, or phone charger. And it's going to just stay in one place. For example, I'm going to show you a really basic form by this balloon. So let me blow the balloon up real quick. All right, let me tie a knot real quick. And then this is, well, the nice thing about static electricity is it's not very powerful. You still wanna have adult around when you do these experiments, but it's not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna show you what one thing static electricity can do. Okay, so what I was saying is like you can rub it on a sweater or this dishcloth. So what I'm gonna do, I've blown up the balloon and I'm gonna rub it on the dishcloth for a few seconds and this is gonna create a charge. And now hopefully, I know I got kind of frizzy hair naturally, but hopefully it will show the static electricity is going to attract my hair to it because of the energy that it has. So let, let's see if this works. All right, ready? Oh, look, it's coming up. Oh, yep, see? It's attracted to it. And it can be, static electricity can work in other ways as well. So let's get started on our experiment with the salt and pepper. And all you need is just a few things around the house and you can just see how another way static electricity is working. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for our experiment today, we're just going to need a few things around the house. First, you're going to need a sweater or a dishcloth to use to create the static electricity. You'll need a paper plate or a plastic plate. I did an orange one, so it's going to be a little easier for you guys to see what's going to happen in this experiment. You'll need a plastic spoon. You will need salt and pepper. And I just used packs that I found around my place from takeout, but if you want to you don't have those around your house, you can just use a spoonful of salt and a spoonful of pepper. So let me move the camera so you guys can see what happens when we do a buildup of static electricity and how that affects or changes the salt and the pepper. So hold on a second, let me adjust the camera real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have all of what we need here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the, both the salt and the pepper onto our paper plate. And I made it sure it was an orange plate so you could see both the white salt and the black pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it a little bit on the plate so they're together. Now, you may have heard a term called opposites attract, and that's because it came from electricity where there is a positive or a negative charge, and the positive and the negative charge attract together. Now, for here, the positive charge is gonna be this pepper here because it's lighter than the salt, so when there's a energy of the static electricity is gonna make that be attracted to the spoon here. And the negative charge is going to be this towel that I'm going to rub onto the spoon onto right now. So get a good, better look. And I'm going to rub it for a long time. I'm going to count to 30. So can you guys count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good job. Now, the positive is the, is the pepper and the negative is this charged up spoon. So let's see what happens. Oh, looky what we got here. The pepper went onto the spoon because of the, it was attracted to the energy and the salt is still on the plate because it's lighter. So this is a cool way to show about electricity, but it's also a fun way, a trick you could show your friends and family about how you can separate salt and pepper. So that was a lot of fun. Now let me show you guys a few books that I looked at to do this experiment. All right, I hope you really enjoyed that fun experiment that we just did. And I just wanted to share with you a couple books that I used when I was like doing some research to make this video. The first one is called Amazing Electricity. And this is the book where I got the definition of static electricity. And it also has a really cool experiment, which you also wanna do if you're an adult. And it talks about using a lemon and a dime and a penny and water to show what happens. You can make electricity from a lemon. And I thought that was really neat. And it just also gives, I mean, I know I just told you a little bit about electricity, but this is a great book to just get, like, or give you a start on learning about electricity if you've never done it before. And the second book I wanted to share today is the Eyewitness Book Electricity. And this is a great series, especially for you guys who love history. Like, I love history a lot too. And it talks about the history of electricity. And there, it is kind of got a lot of words in it as you can see, but let me get a little closer to the camera. It also talks about the history, but it also shows really cool pictures of when people were discovering electricity in the 1800s, how they used it, like, and just, a, and you can just enjoy it for just the pictures alone. You don't have to read everything about it. And this one is the, when they were learning how to get electricity to do magnets. You may have learned about magnets in school or other places. And so these are both really great books if you'd like to learn more about electricity. Thank you so much for joining us this month to learn about static electricity. I look forward to sharing more science with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.